Hello, welcome back. Last time I finished a few quests around town. I got the seed bag back to uh, Farmer Paul and the money back to, was it Joseph the guard, I think? Uh, also managed to sneak into the tomb and escape alive with the Scepter of Lordly Might, which leveled me up to two. So now I can carry twice as much. I do more damage. I take less damage. I am still hurt. Um, so I'm going to rest for a little bit. It's now daytime. Um, things. So I thought about how to proceed, and it is not entirely clear to me what exactly I need to do. What are you up to, Farmer Paul? Working on the crops. Marion. So I wanted to talk to Marion again. And just see if she knows anything about the skeleton. Uh, traitor, thief. Xenophos. I talked to Sarah, um, old woman who only comes out at midnight, and didn't really get a whole lot from her, but I wonder if there's anything else on this island. I don't think there is. No, I think I found it all. All right, um, so Damocles. There's a couple of places in town that I have not been. I have not been to Antiphos' bedchamber, I've not been behind Mr. Jones's shop. I have 16 gold pieces. What could I buy from him? Uh, what if I say no? Can I talk to him? No. So, right, let me just see. So 15 gold pieces for smelling salts. I have been stunned once, but I imagine I'd need more than like smelling salts to overcome that. Wizard Eye Potion costs 50 gold pieces. Oh, so how would I even... Can't buy that. Greek Fire. Maybe I could do something useful with that. So I think what I really need... Oh, um, I do need some food, actually. Let's, let's uh, buy some of that. Yes. I'll buy two pieces of meat. Just seems like a good idea. All right. Uh, haven't really found a way to make money yet. Um, I can sell things, yes, but the only thing that sold well was the Scepter of Lordly Might, and I used that for something else. So Damocles, shoot, I just walked into the fire. Whoops! <laughs> uh, retires wearily to his bedchamber. Can I follow him in? And also, can you tell me about that sewer you saw? No. I'm wondering if anybody could tell me where the sewer entrance is. Refuses to budge. Also, I realized something. I was identifying things as a keyhole because I was able to use a key on them, but I can use a key just anywhere, and it says it does not fit the lock. All right, so let me see if, if I wait a little bit, can I follow you through this door? Why does opening a door sound like that? That doesn't seem right. Will he get mad if I do this? I don't want to get locked in here. All right, so it's just a tiny little bedchamber. Nothing really interesting about it. I think he failed to close that door because I was standing in it. All right, so don't walk into the fire, by the way. That's usually not a good idea. Can I follow Antiphos? It's probably too late. He's probably already in bed. Sleepy guard there. Wait a second. Here's a place I haven't been. There's a statue. I can't talk to it. Okay, so this just doesn't even give me the option to talk to <laughs> the scenery. I can't walk in here. Uh, all right, so I need to know what this key is used on. I have one theory. Uh, so let me go test it. Getting dark, that's fine. Oh, hey, I'm winded. Why? Did walking into the fire tire me out? Oh no, it's probably because I'm running everywhere. Okay, so let's walk instead. I'll just use the arrow keys to walk. Um, okay, so Sarah, I wanted to ask you about something. If I wait here for just a little while, will I see you come out? When exactly is midnight? Is it when it becomes dark? Also, this waits for a very small amount of time. Pretty sure this key does not 
um, work on this door. I don't know how long it would take to like pass the whole night like this. Okay, it's becoming morning. I'm rested now. I'm still badly wounded. I left that key there because it opened that door. So I'm gonna guess this is just like a double door sort of thing. I need to find one more key to actually get in there. All right, so I wanted to try. Right here, there is a crack in the stone. What if I attack this? I attack the empty air and nothing happens. What if I punch it? No. Okay, so I don't attack the crack in the stone in order to open it. And I've already tried that key here. It does not work. It just says it does not fit the lock no matter what. Okay, so is this a door that I can lock with that key? Can I, I can close it. Well, that's what the key is for. I feel like this is an oversight. So here's, here's my theory right now. This was an exit from the tomb that I was supposed to find after I came to it from the, uh, from the sewer and the crypt. The tomb was below that, and then the realm of the Chaos Master is below that. So I just, like, skipped a whole bunch of stuff in the game because this door was configured to be unlocked by default. That's my current theory for what's going on. So I got myself a Scepter of Lordly Might, saw some enemies that obliterated me, still don't know my way into the sewer. Is it just, like, some random spot in town that I just haven't found yet? Because, like, there are a few of those still that I haven't stepped into. So let me see if I can figure out if there are just like places in town I have not stepped that might contain a sewer. So here's behind Damocles' bedchamber. What is this? I don't know what this door is. Um, well, okay, so I know what this key does, so therefore I don't actually need it. All right, so... So th at least I solved one mystery. I can't key repeat. It's already sundown. Why are these days so short? So I'm already too late for this, huh? Once again, gonna have to wait for the next day to do that. So let's see, I did learn that I can barge my way into somebody's bedchamber if they're entering their house at that time. Okay, so let's try for Sarah again. All right, so at least I know I don't have to carry that key around anymore. I had a short conversation with her. She told me her husband Xenophos is off on a quest somewhere. Uh, this waits for a very short uh, amount of time, but I don't feel like I have a better way. Does it, does it wait longer if I do this? Probably, yes, okay. So horrible noise. Hey you, I wanna see in your place. Just gonna kind of barge into your house a little bit. I don't see much. Let's talk. Is that you, Xenophos? No, I'm Odysseus. Why are you bothering me? Tell me about Xenophos' quest. I know nothing of that. I mean, who is Xenophos? My husband, Admiral Xenophos. I guess I will ask if anyone knows about Xenophos. He had a special quest, but she doesn't tell me what it was. So I can't do anything with her, it seems. Does she move any farther than that? She does. So I can barge all the way into her house and see some cobwebs and stuff. Can I attack him? Not really, not usefully. I'm probably locked in here at this point. Hang on, she has a back room. Okay. You see, Sarah, this ancient old woman seems to have lost her mind. She sleeps restlessly. It refuses to budge. Fantastic, and I have no keys to try. And yeah, now I'm stuck in her house. <laughs> okay, well, I needed to rest anyway. So I guess I'm resting in here. Rest my wounds off. Wait for her to open the, open the door for me. Wanders about, muttering to herself. 
Uh, why are you bothering me? Okay. So you're going to come out of your place eventually. I am still hurt. But I need to wait for you to open your door and let me out. Right? Because, yeah, this won't budge from this side. There we go. All right, so just please move. I need to exit your house. Thank you. All right. So who else's home can I invade? Antiphos is the one who makes me curious. I could wait for, like, uh, Antiphos and Mr. Jones in particular. Uh, Manthos, right. Did Manthos have anything to say, really? All the other warriors are on the walls. Throne room, sorry to interrupt your nap. Oh, like that woman in the northeastern house who only comes out at midnight. So, I mean, he gives me the hint about her, but I can't actually ask him any keywords or anything. All right, and uh, what did Frederick have to say? How do you like Lord Antiphos? Hey, I found a keyword. I guessed one. The war affects him deeply. I can hear him cry out in his sleep when I stand guard outside his door. He hardly gets any sleep at night from the nightmares. It must be a hard thing to carry the weight of all the city's lives along with the crown. It is good, though. He is no Nero. He is not. Who's Nero? But it will still be a hard thing for us to avoid the fate of Rome. How else can I help you? There's nothing about that. Okay, so, um, hang on. I want to... I want to barge into his, uh, his bedroom. Too late. Well, I saw it for a moment. Antiphos, do you know anything about Xenophos? I've already asked you this. When a lad dies to take out a demon, three more step in. Uh, knock hearth to. Wisest man, Damocles. Uh, describe the chaos master. If you succeed, it'd be the greatest hero. All right. Uh, doesn't know Xenophos. All right. So, what about Mr. Jones? I mean, I guess I can save. Sure, why not? <laughs> Is it a good idea? I don't know. I'm going to just like rotate through all my slots because I might want to go back in time at some point here. Um, going to rest until about now. Wait, my stomach growls. Okay. It definitely passes more time to walk back and forth like this than it does to just click on my character. So, going to sneak in. Oh, I was too slow. Well, I guess I'm not going to. Where do you run off to? Who goes through, like, this door? Oh. This is kind of ridiculous. Like, there's got to be something I'm just missing. I know I've been to the sewer before, you know, 20 years ago or whenever I last played this. It would have been longer than that. Oh, man. Uh, let's explore the forest at night. I feel like I might have missed something there in the forest. So there's that weird statue. It's a finely carved statue. I can't do anything with it. Where was it that I saw that boar that one time? I feel like the boar was like... Yeah, the boar was in here. Around this stuff. This is where the thief was. So perhaps the thief was killed by the boar. Doesn't help me, though. I'm going west. Hey, hey, there's a weird statue here. Okay, so it's like in a little clearing. Well, it doesn't help me. Okay, so random statues in the forest for some reason. And now it's dawn again. 
Alright, so I'm learning nothing from the forest. Let's see, what have I done? I've wasted a bunch of time and food, basically. And I still don't know where to go. Or what to do. How do I even find the sewer? Where might Zalus be? Okay, I can ask some people about Zalus, I guess. Hold on. Okay, so the read me called Damocles, the, the city's fountain of knowledge or something. Could you tell me anything about Xenophos? No. Could you tell me anything about Zalus? No. Okay. I asked you about the sewer already. All right, so people seem to go to bed a little bit after noon, it seems. All right, so um, now this guy here, Bartholomew, did not really... didn't have anything for me. Okay, so let me wait around here until one of you goes to bed. Who do I want to follow? Bartholomew or Antiphos? Let's go with Antiphos. Okay, so I'm going to barge into his place if I can. Uh, I don't think I can. I think this layout is specifically made so that I can't do that. Watch. He'll go around. I'm going to run. I'm going to wait. I'm going to run. Wait. Run. I did it. Okay. I can do it. And he was forced to leave the door open. Okay, well, it's accomplished nothing, but <laughs> I did do it. All right. So there's like two more people to bar barge in on. I want Bartholomew and um, Jones. Okay. Is there anything I can do at night? Not much. This is so weird. <laughs> I've heard this game's real obtuse and it's hard to figure out what to do with it. I saw the inside of Damocles' place and I don't really care about it. Um, let's see, if I were to... If I were to, like, sleep right here... Well, I mean, I can see the inside of that and there's, like, nothing interesting there. Okay. Okay. All right. So I don't need to go to Jones's shop. There's nothing interesting there. So then George Bartholomew. I feel like his... I, I don't know why I'm deciding that uh, his bed is in here, but for some reason I've decided that. Uh, my stomach growls. Okay, let's eat all of the food. Just depleting my money supply. Obviously the sewer is not going to be in some random person's bedroom, but what else can I even pick at here? Oops, whoa, I, okay, I clicked in the wrong place. <laughs> Ignore that. Uh, I got the payroll. Joseph's done with me. Achilles. Chaos creep's going to start coming over the walls. Achilles has nothing to say to me. All right. Let's talk to the farmers, I guess. No, no, hang on. Okay, so it's right around noon, right around the time people start going to bed for some reason. So I'm going to follow George Barth Bartholomew, see where he goes. That's what I want to know. Let's go back and forth. Oh, okay, and click, click off the game again. <laughs> I clicked off the window in two different ways, inside and outside the emulator. Let's, let's just... There we go. Okay, so... George Bartholomew, I want to know where you go. You're fast. I'm going to have to run to keep up with you. Hey, rude. Don't do that. Okay, so... I'm, it feels like I can't even keep... He runs real fast. Whoa! Why can't I run this fast? He went over this way and disappeared. Ah. Okay. Oh, hey, check it out. Huh. So I can peek in and out of windows if I want. Um, right, okay. 
So, where was the spot I was curious about? I guess I'll just stake out this spot and see who comes through this door. It is you. You're trying to move stealthily, casting many a glance over his shoulder. So, um, this is clearly the traitor, by the way. Yeah, there was interesting stuff in there. How do I follow him, though? Yeah, what's this? Hey, I caught you doing something. Out of my way, I have business to attend to. All right, so is there any way I can sneak past you in there? Uh, I did it. Okay, so I'm going to wait for you to walk away so you don't close the door. <laughs> All right, I barged in here, and I found... Perfect letter, carved, covered with George Bartholomew's crabbed handwriting. Crabbed? All right. So I found a letter. It says... Uh, Master, I have stolen the crop seed and the payroll as you ordered. It then proceeds to list several weak points on the city walls. I am your humble servant, Bartholomew. So, okay... Really feels like I did that wrong, but I did it. <laughs> I have evidence that George Bartholomew is the traitor, so I should take that straight to Antiphos. All right. Really just kind of forcing my way through these puzzles, but that's apparently what I have to do. Should I do it while he's standing right there? I'll stand, like, a step away from him. He might actually attack me. Um... Traitor. What do you know about the traitor, sire? There is no traitor. Please don't stir it up again. There may be some truth. So I can't give him the letter, huh? Bartholomew. How do you like your advisor, George Bartholomew? So I can definitely ask people about other people. That's something I should do more, I guess. He is a clever man. His help with the defenses especially has been invaluable. Yet somehow, no matter how ingenious his tricks, the chaos forces seem to find a way around them. I fear they are guided by some supernatural force that reveals to them every contrivance we try. The weight of kingship looks heavy on his brow. Yet our men are heroes, each and every one of them. The city's survival has been bought with their blood, and it will continue to stand with more of it. The king's mouth turns into a difficult line. We owe them a debt we can never repay. Yes, I will give him the letter. My heart grieves with yours, Majesty, yet I think I have found the source of all this trouble. A traitor! How can this be? So the rumors were true. He's walking away. Uh, it's time for him to go. Staring at you coolly. This is a lie, Highness. I am slandered. I demand satisfaction. I will give it to you, sir. Gladly. Just name the time and place. Hush. The only justice here will be given by the law, Bartholomew. Yes, sire. I perceive that this page is in your hand, Bartholomew. That is damning evidence. A forgery, sire. It is not a forgery. I have read your handwriting a thousand times. This is it, as clearly as I have ever seen it. I can only reiterate my innocence, sire. I have been slandered. <laughs> He's already walked away. Frederick, excuse me, sire. Perhaps it is not my place to intervene here, but I have seen Bartholomew sneaking about at night with a letter much like that one in appearance in his hand. You did not stop him, Captain? He claimed he was merely delivering a missive to a friend in the city, but perhaps his friend was no friend of ours, Majesty. I have heard enough. Hear my decision, and tremble ye doers of evil, for the justice of the king is great. <laughs> Let us act then in accordance with reason. Let us act then in accordance with reason. Let us act. Let us act. Yes, Bartholomew? The king looks gravely at the pale and trembling man. Do you have some problem with the traditional words? It was I, sire. Have mercy upon me. He throws himself to his feet. I admit it. Uh, it is good that you admit it, Bartholomew. It shows your conscience, spurred on by the threat of impending destruction, pricks you at last to the course of reason. Yes, sire. But it does not change my sentence one iota, Bartholomew. For highest and grossest treason to this city and this land, you will serve out the remainder of your years in prison. All doers of evil, hear and repent. All doers of evil, hear and repent. Uh, letting out a huge, huge in 
Chewit Whale? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, he settles to the ground, blubbering. Guards, take him away. Bartholomew is dragged away by guards. <laughs> this is an unpleasant piece of business, gentlemen, but the city will be better for it. You have acted rightly, sire. Odysseus, according to the traditional law, the benefactor of the city must receive the gratitude of the king. I thank you, Odysseus. It pleases me to re receive your thanks. It pleases me to receive your thanks, sire. And I choose to show my gratitude with this. Take it, Odysseus, and use it well. Ah, oh, scepter of lordly might. Bowing your head in submission. The justice of the king is great. The justice of the king is great. Okay, neat. Yeah, I earned myself a scepter. Use. So I am now level three. Attack 16, defend 10. 30 stone capacity. Nice. All right, so carrying's not going to be a problem. That probably won't help me with my food problem. Definitely hasn't helped me with my money problem. Wonder if I should have considered selling that. Because like a thousand gold pieces could buy a lot of good stuff. But I, I need my levels. But what am I going to do with them if I can never find the sewer? <laughs> like who in town can tell me about the city's sewers? Alright, so I was just like... A really, really nosy person today. And that's how I solved... <laughs> the problem of who's the traitor. Uh, so maybe now the farm people will have new things to say. And I should ask more people about other people. Talk to people about people and I may get interesting answers. That's one thing that I've learned today. Health is good. Stamina is rested. I guess maybe if I level up enough times I can start taking on the, uh, the challenges in the, in the tomb. I think I figured out some stuff about the Shadowy Stalker. You know what? Let's save and experiment with that a bit. So let's say that I would go... It is day 21 of the Odyssey. Oh, I can see when midnight is, when that changes. Okay. So let's go in here. Not put a torch in my hand. If I go in here like this and step here... Well, now I don't see it. Stab. Attack the empty air. Stab. Okay, I found the shadowy stalker. I stabbed it. Is wounded. Misses me. Hey, I killed the shadowy stalker. Nice. Okay. Once when I stepped here, I saw... Oh, this guy. Okay, so he's separate. All right, uh, I'm going to save in a separate slot. So game one. Uh, he dropped something. Also, I would love to get... Ah! <laughs> I'd love to get this before you fight me. And put it on my head. There. Um, I should look at my tunic. It was damaged. There's also a... What is this? Um, I, I'll, I'll find out later. I'm going to just take it now and be ready for a fight. Um, I should... Mm, okay, well, let's let's try. I'm going to wait one, wait one. Are you coming to me? Yeah, well, now you are. Stab. We miss each other. I hit him. He's wounded. Badly wounded. Okay, so I can fight in here now. That's nice. Oh, and I got money. All right. I found some money. Okay. Well, cool. So um, let me take this out of my hand so it doesn't burn. Um, I want to inspect my stuff. Perfect leather hat. Keeps your ears warm and protects somewhat in combat. Defense three. Equipable as helmet. Great. Near perfect tunic. Okay, so it's it's still it's still good. It was only damaged a little bit. All right. So the level ups and knowledge have helped. What did you have, Shadowy Stalker? Invisibility potion. Oh, hey, that seems real good. All right, that's neat. Um, now I start to wonder if I'm actually doing this right. It still feels wrong, but it's starting to feel less wrong. Like I'm making it work. <laughs> Uh, anything like, any like cracks in any of these walls? Not that I can see. Uh, all right. So I accomplished some stuff. That's nice. Save game one. So my, I am hurt. Uh, it's morning. How's my food supply? It's empty. All right. While it's daytime, I should buy, uh, how's my torch? Still halfway there. Okay, so I haven't used too much torch. Um, whoa. Let me 
talk to the farm people about the traitor now that that's done. Uh, I can't help you. It was mostly the ones down south who wanted to talk about that. See if they have any more go gossip now that Bartholomew has been caught. But while it's open, I need to talk to you. Yes. I earned a little bit of money. Uh, I don't need another torch. I just need food. So my money supply is still dwindling, but not as quickly as before. Anyway, yeah, so with an invisibility potion, I could probably sneak through, like, that place with the cannonball and the lion and stuff, or, like, the one with the, um... Oh, just, just right on time. Uh, don't accidentally use that, please. Um, stuff. Um, oh, hey, I could probably open this and peer into... I think this is Damocles' bedchamber. Uh. Okay. Um, well, I'll leave his things closed. All right, talk to these people. What's up, Daedalus? Have you heard about the traitor? Now that he's behind bars, there's not much more to hear. Odysseus, good job. Okay. I wonder how I was supposed to follow up with his clues of, like, he saw something suspicious in the shop, but then, like, the king didn't want, um... Something, something, don't talk about it. Homer has nothing to say. Vern, congratulations on catching the traitor. You're a regular hero now. Afraid I can't help you there. You know anything about Xenophos? No. All right, so I've solved a bunch of issues, I guess. Smith. Same as always, don't be despicable. No hope. Uh, all right. So Vern and... Daedalus, give me a prompt. Homer and Smith do not. And there was like one more thing. I oh yeah, I wanted to talk to um, the prisoner. So he's in his jail cell. So Zalus and Xenophos are people that I'm looking for. Hey you, I'm going to talk to you. Hello, Bartholomew. Odysseus, what do you want? Leave me alone. How are you doing, Bartholomew? Enjoying yourself? Such, such luxurious surroundings you find yourself in. The wages of sin. So I betrayed Athenia. I never should have done it, but the power Nakhurthu offered me. How did he meet you? He came to me in a dream. He promised me infinite power if I obeyed him and betrayed the city. The visions he showed me. Everyone kneeling before me. Everyone calling me master, not that mealy-faced, witless king. What did you do? Oh, you know the rest, Odysseus. I stole the seed and hid it in the ruins, thinking no one would find it. Whose skeleton was that? It was not the thief's. The thief was the traitor also. Okay, so now I know that. The key to the chamber I locked it in was too incriminating, so I tossed that into the bushes on the island. Right, yes, I did find that. I'd also stolen the payroll and hidden it in that same place. Nakhurthu thought that would make the troops desert. I tried to convince him otherwise, but he refused to listen. How did you communicate with Nakhurthu? Every now and then, I would slip a letter into the sewers. Where is that? Please tell me! <laughs> then I would come back and pick up his reply. I think he only had the power to come into my dreams occasionally, and when he did, I never remembered it very well. I'd always have these throbbing headaches and this blurry vision of color-changing eyes staring at me out of the darkness. How did you get into the sewers? Yes, this is the information I need. I'm doing this right, surprisingly. I stole the key. Let me have it, Bartholomew. What if I don't want to give it to you? Give it to me or... Uh, don't be a fool, Bartholomew. Give it to me or I'll get one of the guards to shake it out of your stinking hide. You don't have to get violent. He gives, he gives tries to give you a glare of contempt that dissolves. Violence is evil. <laughs> Just fork it over, Bartholomew, and spare me your simpering, uh, hypocritical platitudes. I gain a sewer key. Here it is. Thank you, Bartholomew. You saved my life. <laughs> so good of you to cooperate. Okay, check it out. I found the sewer key. That was hard. Wow. Okay. Uh, might it be this? Wow. Okay. So, I, I wasn't missing stuff. Unlocked. Check it out. That's the sewer. I still think I came to the tomb early because I didn't need anything in there for what I... Oh, shoot. As you enter the stinking room, a grinding laugh rises up from the depths of the earth and the door disappears from behind you. Fantastic. Welp. Okay, I'll save in a different slot again. 
All right, so note to self, my save is now in slot two. But hey, I found my way into the sewer, finally. <laughs> All right, cool. So next time, uh, Dungeon Descent can begin properly. I'll go down here, and yes, I am a level higher than I'm supposed to be now, because I stole that, oh, and I have equipment, yeah. So basically, I skipped ahead and gave myself an advantage, because the game did not lock that door properly. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> this is obtuse enough that I'll take whatever the heck advantage I can get. <laughs> All right, see you next time to get out of the sewer.